Hello Facebook, hello Periscope, hello Twitter, hello social media. Welcome to the final episode of IELTS Talk here for Season 2. My name is Paul Kreischer, I am your host once again. Uh, thank you for coming on, it's been a great season for the most part, uh, especially here. I can't thank you guys enough uh, for coming almost every week. And uh, today is going to be a little sensitive. Uh, there's no season. We're done. So what do we do? Is there going to be a season? Uh, we're going to discuss that. What do I think is going to happen? We're going to discuss that as well. We're going to talk about a little bit about the draft. Not much. Uh, but that is all going to depend, again, if there's an NHL season. So we're going to let everybody get in here real quick. What's up, Greg? What's up, guys? Uh, Thomas, season is not over. They will play again. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I, I, I seriously have my doubts. I do. And I'm going to explain why. Um, what's up, Sean? What's up, guys? Again, welcome, everyone. So, let's get into it. Um, obviously, we've never seen this before in our lifetime. Uh, it's, 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 it's a rough one, to, uh, to be sure. No, 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 no doubt about that. Um, what do we, what do we go from here? How do we know if there's actually going to be a season? Uh, to be quite frank, we don't, uh, which is why I seriously have my doubts. Uh, the only sign I could tell you to let you know if there is going to be a season or not would be to take a look at the school districts. Not just on Long Island, not just in New Jersey or Pennsylvania, go all over the place. Um, the longer the kids are out of school, the less of a chance you're going to see NHL hockey this year. That's just the way it's going to be. Uh, morning, guys. Um, I can tell you right now, the state of Pennsylvania, every single school is closed for a minimum two weeks uh, from the parents that I've been talking to uh, locally here they feel that it's going to be much longer than that they're looking at at least four weeks more than likely six weeks uh, I believe the state of New Jersey there are already a couple of uh, the, uh, the malls are going to be closed soon I know around here they're going to be clo uh, they're going to be closed soon as well uh, I know in the state of New Jersey uh, they're at a minimum four weeks on some of the schools. I'm already aware that uh, quite a few colleges in Pennsylvania have already shut down for the year. Like, they're done. So, uh, we're, you're going to have to wait out the storm, guys. You're not going to get a definitive answer just yet because there's no one going to school. The malls are going to get shut down. Fast food joints, they're all going to be... Um, they're all going to be uh, drive through only. How many cases in Pennsylvania? I know... <coughs> Uh, specifically where I live right now, there are three cases. Um, we don't know where. I know it's not in the town where I'm living. Uh, but to my knowledge, there's three. I want to say in the Philadelphia area, there's quite a few. Not as many as Westchester, though. Uh, I believe Westchester's running away with everything. I don't know if I read correctly about the state of Ohio. Ohio seems to have a large amount of case. So, really, what are we going to see? Over the next couple of weeks, we're going to see the numbers grow in the amount of people who actually have it because they're getting tested, so on and so forth. This is normal. Okay? That's why the NBA has prolonged their season or to make any kind of a decision until April 30th. Okay? So if you're an NHL fan and you're looking for any signs of a season... You got to take a look at the school districts all around, all around. It's not just New York or Pennsylvania or Connecticut. You got to take a look, look at the news and find out when kids are going back to school. Because in all honesty, guys, the NHL needs the kids as well. They're fans. They're, they're there every weekend. The NHL needs the kids at these events just as much as they need their parents. The NHL needs the audience 
They don't have the TV contract like the NBA does. So if you want a good sign that you're going to have an NHL season, maybe in May, take a look at the kids in the school district. But number two, you got to take a look at the NBA. Okay, can I see the NBA playing until mid-July? I could. Hardwood floor, kind of easy to maintain. And let's be honest, they don't start their season until the end of October, beginning of November anyway. They usually start about a month after the NHL. So I could see the NBA playing until late July. That's a possibility. The NHL, I don't think so. There, there's a lot of, unfortunately for us, as hockey fans, there's a lot of drama involved right now. And unfortunately, it deals with timing. Uh, this was just bad timing. Okay. Um, New Jersey will be in total shutdown this week. All schools closed. Okay, there we go. And then we just don't know when the, when the schools are going to open back up. So let's forget about March. Let's go pretty much forget about April. Let's just do it. Let's forget about March. Let's forget about April. So when can we expect a possible start or continuation to the season? Well, we've got two reference points. We have the 1995 season, which most Islander fans really want to forget. And then we have the 2013 season. Those were both shortened seasons, both 48 games condensed schedule but here's the issue that we that here's the issue that we currently have as nhl fans back in 1995 um the regular season ended may 3rd and the draft started june 28th and the 29th the the playoffs actually ended june 24th so we're literally talking two months worth of playoffs right Back in 2013, the regular season ended April 30th. And the playoffs didn't end until June 26th. So for the playoffs, you need two months. You need two months. The issue that the NHL currently has is that their regular season, even in the condensed schedules, they're right around April 30th. Okay, so what do you do if you're the NHL? And this is why I'm going to say that there will not be a season. I think everything's going to get canceled, which is why this is probably going to be the last show. Okay, so again, welcome Periscope, welcome Twitter. This is for all NHL fans. This is for all Islander fans. Welcome once again. Here we go. We're looking at April 30th. First off, we have to see how bad... Everything is. If it's still bad, they may make a decision right then and there. The states, legislation, they may make the decision for the NHL. That's a possibility. Nothing going on. That would be very, very easy for the NBA and the NHL. Right? So, we don't know. So, me being the pessimist in this one, I don't think there's going to be a season. And I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give you guys a couple of reasons why I think so. And I've also asked other people in the media. I've asked. I've asked season ticket holders. Um, I've asked you know the bloggers that I've been working with now for like ten years. They're, you know, we're all kind of in agreement here. Uh, we 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 just don't see a season. Some of the season ticket holders still think we can have hockey in the middle of July. Okay, depending on where we are, maybe Edmonton, Calgary. Winnipeg, okay, I can see us getting, you know, I can see us getting away with that, okay, maybe, not, I don't know about Boston, but Long Island hockey, ice hockey in the middle of July, I can't see, first off, conference finals and Stanley Cup in July, but we're going to get into that in a minute, let's get back to April 30th, May 1st, let's say they have a, let's say they can, we're allowed to continue to have an NHL season. What does the NHL do? They can go a couple of games. 
They can go a couple of games and then go right into the playoffs. Here's here's the issue I have, guys. Okay, you're going to be asking players who have not played in six weeks, give or take six weeks, maybe even seven, to come back and play a season. Okay, I'm not going to lie. No one's practicing right now. No one's going to be allowed to practice. Forget skate. Yeah, they're going to hit the weight room. That ain't, that ain't going to help them too much. It doesn't matter how healthy these teams are going to be. These guys will not be skating. And they're not playing any games for a solid six weeks. Okay, if there's any kind of if there's going to be any kind of sport betting going on, if this season gets started up again, I'm going to bet on who's going to pull their groins first. Quite honestly, who's going to pull that hamstring? Who's going to pull the groin muscle? You know, someone takes a bad hit or or an easy hit off the board, they're going to be sluggish. The timing could be off. Like, there isn't going to be a lot of time to get back into a cycle here. And then you're going to be asking a lot of these teams to go for a Stanley Cup after six weeks of basically doing nothing, spending time with their families. Okay, that's that's scenario number one. And if you give the guys, if you give the teams a couple of regular season games before the playoffs, um, there's no incentive for the Wings, the Senators, the Sharks, the Kings, the Ducks, the Devils, the Sabres. What's the point of them coming back? They're going to be pissed. Let's be honest. You get six weeks off, you're asked to play five games, and then you're done for the summer. That doesn't make any sense at all. Exactly. These are your, you know, the owners, the, the the players are investments to the owners. And I'm not going to lie. I've had two people come up and basically say, listen, if the NHL gets started with another regular season or even the playoffs themselves after a six-week hiatus, Putting the insurance policies aside, you're putting all of these players at risk like you would putting your star players in the Olympics. It's a very big risk. And then you're running the risk of injuring these guys and they may not be ready for the regular season, which happens to get started pretty much in September. Okay, you guys know most of the players, they come back to their respective teams in that area by like mid to late August. And then they start skating in in September. That's going to be tough to do. Okay? So there's no incentive for the bottom teams, the draft lottery teams, if there's a regular season. So now let's move into another scenario. What if we just give them the playoffs? What if we just start the teams with the playoffs? Well, the NHL is already pissing off quite a few teams. Okay? Um, The Rangers will be pissed. The Panthers will be pissed. And if I'm not mistaken, I thought I had this memorized, but it's too early in the morning for me. Uh, The Minnesota Wild will be pissed. The Winnipeg Jets will be pissed. Why? Because they're going to miss the playoffs by that much these guys probably needed a game or two to make it interesting and the nhl said sorry we got to get the playoffs started we got to get a stanley cup done okay how are fans going to react to that not good not good okay and now i'm gonna throw this one at you islander fans um the NHL and this is just chatter but it's going to it's really going to tick you guys off there's a group that wants to do the percentages in the standings that to, to get them into the playoffs right that'll make islander fans happy because percentage wise the islanders are ahead of the columbus blue jackets however there is chatter going on that the NHL may decide that whoever was in the top eight in that regular playoff format, whoever was in the playoffs at that time that the season was 
postponed, that those teams are going to be in the playoffs. So the Columbus Blue Jackets, sorry, could be in the playoffs and the Islanders could be out. So no matter what, you're going to piss off another team. Okay, so there's that. There's a lot of drama going on right now that I don't think the NHL really wants to bother with. And then you just have your regular two months of playoff time. It'll be a condensed schedule. It'll go very quickly, but then it'll be done and over with. But there's going to be a lot of backlash at some point. Does the NHL really want to deal with that? And then you get that last week in June where it's the Stanley Cup and then three days later it's the draft. Literally, probably three days. I'm not I'm not far off. Okay. I know you can't allow it to do it just points, but guess what? They're talking about it. They're thinking of allowing it. Don't shoot the messenger. But this is the drama that the NHL is going to have. Imagine, guys. And this is a... Di All right, so let, let, let's have fun with this. Let's have fun with this now. All right, I I'll be biased here, okay? I'll be biased. Let's say they go with the percentages and the Islanders make the playoffs. Just to appease you guys. Okay? Because I still don't think there's going to be a season. We have Boston in the first round. What are our chances against Boston? A hell of a lot better than you think. Why? Because there's no momentum coming into this season. They're off for six weeks. It goes back to what I had said before. Who's going to pull the groin? Who's going to pull the hammy? Who's got arthritis in their elbow because they haven't really been playing or whatnot? When did the calcium deposits kick in? Right? The Islanders will have just as good of a shot to beat Boston as anybody else at this point. The Leafs have a good shot at beating Tampa. Why? There's no momentum. These guys are just showing up and they'll be and they're being told win the cup. Go ahead. Go back to 95. The Devils are a perfect example. What were they? Uh, I even forgot. Nuts. I just had the record. They were like 22-18 and whatever. They were nothing. They were like 4th or 5th in the division, whatever it was, and they ended up winning the cup. This is exactly what's going to happen. This is exactly what's going to happen. This this Stanley Cup, it could be anybody's. Who's gonna piss? Who's gonna really gonna be pissed? St. Louis, because they could lose in the first round. Or St. Louis fans, excuse me. Boston could lose in the first round. Tampa could lose in the first round. All these top teams, Vegas could lose in the first round. It doesn't matter anymore. You talk about parity, they are starting from nothing in this playoff race. Is that gonna be backlash on the NHL? You bet. Does the NHL really want to deal with that? No. No, I don't think so. I, I just don't think so. So, yeah, but you guys are missing the point. Forget about Marty Bordeaux. The Devils got hot and they won. Who, were, who, who remembers who was in first place in that division? Who was expected to win in that, in that series? Besides Detroit. Go away, you. Sorry, cousin. If you hear any music in the background, that's my fault. That's my cousin. Okay, the Quebec Nordiques. The Quebec Nordiques were right there. They were ready to win the cup, remember? Nope, didn't happen. New Jersey of all teams. Anything can happen. Hello, Michelle. What would happen to Sidney Crosby if he happens to go out? With a bad leg injury. Or Connor McDavid goes out with a bad injury. And they're not ready to start the season. There you go, guys. 
There's a lot of risk involved as we get closer to April 30th and May 1st and May 3rd. I'll tell you right now, I think if everything gets po postponed until, call it, somewhere between May 8th and May 11th, I think they should cancel the season. Because now you're really playing with fire. And really, that's what's happening. Right after April 30th, you are playing with fire with all of the players and the absolute uncertainty of what's going to happen in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Because now there's no, there's no clear-cut winner. Forget that. If anyone's got the Bruins winning the Stanley Cup this year right now, no chance. I wouldn't put money on that. Give me the hot goaltender. Give me the team that's just fitting the system well. Hell, look at what the Islanders did at the beginning of the season. Could they pull it off again? Why not? There's enough time off. Whoever's got that hot goaltender, guys, there you go. I know what you guys are telling me, that it has to be based off the percentages. I get that. I'm not arguing with you. I'm telling you, as a warning, fair, fair warning, March 14th at 10.22 a.m., fair warning, the NHL is still considering the possibility of just having the eight teams that qualified for the playoffs in each conference by the end of last week. Whoever was in the playoffs when the season was suspended, they could be in the playoffs in May, whenever it gets started, if there's no regular season. You've been forewarned. Yes, it does give the Islanders a better shot, but it also gives the Islanders and every other team in the NHL a better shot at getting injured. It really does. This is like sitting on a bench for like 30 minutes and then they're expecting you to go in and score 20 points. Not happening. Okay? I made that joke about the calcium deposits. Let me tell you, it kicks in, especially if you get older and you've been sitting there for a while because then you really don't want to go in. So, um, oh, here's the other issue, guys, that I forgot to bring up. If the NHL and the NBA do get their season start again, you have to clean the stadiums. You have to clean and sanitize the arenas. As of right now, no one's been allowed in. That doesn't take days or weeks, guys. That takes months to clean and sanitize and get everything ready. So if the states mandate that the arenas need to be cleaned and sanitized and whatnot, now you're looking at a start of maybe mid-May, second, third week in May, if you're lucky, which I don't think would happen. Then you got playoff hockey until the middle of July. Oh, Sorry, guys, I love hockey. I'm not watching hockey in the middle of July. It's not happening. You still have people going on vacation. You got players going on vacation. Forget that. Cutler, I'm with you. I roll over sometimes. It's like I almost got a hernia. Not a hernia. Um, um, uh, a disc. Pulled it. You know, pulled disc. I can't. I can't even talk at this point. You know where I'm going with this. Okay, there's just a lot of drama. There's a lot of issues going on here. A lot of it is out of the NHL's control. But you know what? That's how they like it. Because they had it. They, they had a plan going. As a matter of fact, it was probably going from, from what I've been able to collect and understand. They've had a plan going for quite some time because they were very well aware of the San Jose Sharks uh, issues with the coronavirus. So... This was all in the works to begin in the beginning, but it's the simple fact that the NBA got hit with it first, that it was very easy for the NHL to make that decision to postpone everything. Um, having said that now, if they're told they can't do a season, that's even better for them. They've crossed their T's, they dotted their I's, they have done every kind of legal formality that they should have been able to do. 
they've told everybody, yes, everything is suspended. They're not guaranteeing a season, nor should they. Would they like to? Of course they would. Why wouldn't they? Are they expecting to have a season? I don't think so. For a lot of the reasons that I'm just explaining to you right now, there's a lot of drama. There's a lot of complications to it. And again, you've got other teams that had a shot to make it into the playoffs. They're not going to be there. There's going to be a lot of backlash no matter what happens. So for the NHL this year, it's better to have everyone disappointed than having backlash from like half the team, half the half the league and whatnot. And then come playoff time, you probably have all the teams really mad at the NHL coming back at them and saying, you probably never should have had this Stanley Cup playoffs in the first place. So better to be having all of your teams disappointed at you, but for the right reasons, than have everyone pissed at you for the wrong reasons. So there we go. That's why I don't think there is going to be a season. Now, um, regular or post. Now, Tommy brought up the draft. Here we go. This is my only, this is an Isles Talk solution here. Uh, this goes back to, this goes back to, um, I think it was, help me out guys, was that um, Sidney Crosby's year? 2003, 2004? That draft, we didn't have a, that was a complete lockout. And they just did top, uh, the top teams. I think they're going to do that again. So let's say, for example, there is no regular season anymore. There's no postseason. I think every team, all 31 teams, they're all going to get a shot at the lottery. Uh, at this point, if we're playing the percentages, and for those of you who have been here all season and last season, now you understand why I do the percentages with the standings all season long. And I'm pointing at all of you. Why not? Um, getting back to the draft. You've got 31 teams. You take the teams with the worst winning percentage. They're in first place. So you're looking at the Wings, the Senators, the Sharks, the Kings, the Ducks, the Devils, the Sabres, the Habs, and the Hawks as of right now. Uh, and the Arizona Coyotes as your top 10, so on and so forth. You can still have... Go away, you. You can still have, you know, your typical draft lottery. The bottom five teams go at it. Or you can have all 30 teams go at it for the lottery. You know, go in for the first overall pick. Why not? But if you're, let's say right now, the Pens, the Flyers, the Caps, the Avs, uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning, the Blues, and the Bruins, the top teams, the teams with the top percentage rates here, they're going to have the least amount of chances to nab that number one spot. And I think that's how they would go with the draft. So, other than that, I got no clue, guys. Does it make sense for the NHL to continue this season? No. It doesn't. It doesn't, which is why this is going to be the last show of the year. Or let me rephrase that, the last show of the season. Okay, if there is for some hockey god forsaken reason that there is a season, I will try to come back when I can. I'm not going to lie. I am going to be busy with family stuff and business uh, in April. That's usually the case with me anyway. Even if the season were to end in April, I think it ended April 6th. I still would have been busy. I would have done one more show after the playoffs and then I would have covered the draft. But the Islanders, as of right now, they don't have their first they don't have their second round. Um, I don't know what Lou's going to do this offseason. I don't know if he's going to get a second rounder. I don't know if he can get a first rounder in this year's draft. I don't know if I should cover 60, 65, 70 people, uh, prospects, just for Lou to nab two at the moment. Because I don't even know where he would pick. That's a lot of work. So I don't know if I would even... I, I will take a glance at some of the players, but I think what I'm going to do is... When I know the draft is over, 
I will get a better critique. I'll get a better understanding of the players. And then I can do a report for you guys after that. And then we'll do like an end of season review uh, with the free agent signings, the hockey trades, whatever Lou does. But in all honesty, who knows? There's no need to do a show, though. That's the bottom line. There's definitely no need to do a show probably until June. Let's just get that, or, or at least May, if there's a playoffs. You know, but um, that's it, man. Um, well, no, I, I'm not going to lie, guys. This, yeah, not yeah, of the year. Yeah, no, the last show of the season. Last show of the season. Not necessarily the year. Um. Yeah, we don't know. There is going to be a draft. There is going to be a draft. Let's get that out of the way. There is going to be a draft. But again, the juniors, the junior players aren't even playing right now. There's a lot of different stuff going on. Very difficult to predict and whatnot. Um, they can go old school. They can have a giant conference call from all of their buildings and just start drafting players. Like going back to the 70s. Okay, you never know what they're going to do yet, but it's too far. It's too far down. Um, 1030 water cooler talk time. Uh, thank you guys once again for another great season. Uh, like I said before, I've been averaging well over 500 views uh, each episode this year. It's been phenomenal. Um, what's coming up with IELTS talk? Basically, uh, everything, all the videos here, they're going to get uploaded to YouTube. If I have the time, I'm probably going to do a couple of video segments on YouTube. And as long as I get permission uh, to post it on the other Islander Facebook groups, I'm going to do that as well. But uh, those are going to be more of an open-ended question. Uh, give me your thoughts on that. You know, a healthy debate. That's what I'm going to call it. A healthy debate section up in YouTube. Uh, so make sure you hit the like and subscribe to IELTS Talk because I'll be working on that as well. Other than that, guys, I have no plans to cover the Islanders at this point from here on out. So, uh, yeah, the draft could end up in the middle of the summer. So any other questions, comments, concerns, I don't even think, you know, I don't know what else there is to say. Um, come out. Doesn't matter how weird the question is. Right, Bill Daly just said they will play the remaining regular games if play continues. That's what they're supposed to say, guys. It's all part of the process. Are they lying? Absolutely not. They're not lying. They have every intention. They have every intention of playing the season out. The question is, will they? I don't think they will be able to. Uh, Sorokin, yeah. Uh, I from from I, I I've been saying it now for a year, uh, and I got a pretty good backing on it. I think Sorokin is a New York Islander. Let's put it this way: he's definitely going to be an NHLer. But uh, I have, I, I, I can't see how he's not an Islander at this point. And we've said that, discussed that before. Okay, listen, I cannot, I'm going to say this right now. I cannot promote any shows on this site. I have said this to people before. I am not allowed to. I've said it to people personally. I said it behind the scenes. Now I have to say it on air because now they're getting annoying. I am not allowed to promote any other shows unless I have permission to. That's the last time I'm telling everybody that. Now it's out in the open. I am not allowed to promote anybody's shows without permission. Right here. Will the Islanders work on contracts for Pollock Barzal while this is going on? That is allowed. Um, again, if anybody knows if the season's going to be 
continuing or not, it would probably be Lou. Um... Why not? You know, it, 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 unless the facility is closed. Uh, actually, the, the facilities are closed, but if the Islanders are allowed to still do business, I'm sure Lou would be talking to um, the agents right now. Uh, I don't think they'd be going over numbers. I don't. I, that doesn't sound like Lou to me. Uh, I, hi, how are you? How you doing? You know, let's keep in contact. I'm, I'm sure they're not going to throw... You know, I, I, you know, they're not going to throw numbers now because Lou will be like, this season's not over yet. Let's see what happens at the end of the season. Um, they're, I don't think they're talking contracts. I'm sure they're keeping dialogue without question, but that's not, that's not Lou. But yeah, why not? They can, you know, he can start talking. Why not? Any other questions, comments, concerns? Offer sheets and things like that. The entire normal schedule is going to be whacked this summer. There's, there's no question. Absolutely no question. And that's that's kind of the reason why I think, in my opinion, the, the season's just going to get canceled. If I had to throw a dart and pick a date, I'd probably say somewhere between the 8th and the 15th of May. I don't think they can go beyond that. If they cancel in the middle of May, then everything is back to normal. You still have the draft in June. You have unrestricted free agency July 1st everything okay that's normal that that's there's normalcy there's disappointment of course but now you're back on track i i would yeah msg uh, david wants to uh basically have msg show some replays of big games while season is suspended that would be nice even NHL Network, you know, give us some of those big games of the year. Uh, that would be nice. Why not? You know, a couple of good classic ones in there, so on and so forth. Why not? Impact of season being canceled on the salary cap for next season. Great question, Cutler. Um, I'm going to say the cap is still going to go up. Um... You know, this is not going to draw the fans away. I think it's still going to happen. And I think you also have to remember, too, we're getting Seattle in two years. We're going to have Belmont in two years. Um, at some point, I'm hoping Ottawa gets their new arena in the short term, two to th you know, three to five years. The NHL will make up that revenue at some point. So... Um, I think the cap will still go up. I don't think the NHL is going to suffer that much, even the owners. I'm sure it's some, I'm sure something will be worked out, but there's enough revenue coming in soon, and especially with the TV contracts, there'll be enough revenue where I think the cap could still go up. Yeah, the ice condition, guys. Well, that's it. Besides... You know, the ice conditions, forget pulling the hammy or the groins or whatnot. Who's going to, you know, Matt Barzal. Mark Barzal. I can't talk. It's early in the morning. I still haven't slept yet. Matt Barzal. He wipes out with the good ice. Imagine what he's going to do with the bad ice. Who wrecks a knee? Who's going to twist that ankle? You know, it. there's a lot of things going on. All right, let's do it. We're going to thank Brooklyn right now. I can tell you right now for a fact, um, and this has been confirmed to me before, uh, without Brooklyn, the Islanders were going to be in Quebec. Not Kansas City, Quebec. Okay? If you guys remember, there was a big contingency of uh, Quebec Nordique fans. That's why. They came down for a reason. They knew it. It was close. Okay? Without Brooklyn, the Islanders would be in Quebec. And they would probably be the Quebec Nordiques. So thank you, Brooklyn. And I'm not going to lie. Next season, the, the Islanders have to do better at, at Nassau Coliseum. I believe they went 7-0-4 in Brooklyn this year. Something to that effect. Probably. So, you know, thank you, Brooklyn. 
Uh, time to step it up in Nassau. Uh, if for whatever reason Sorokin doesn't come to the Isles, does Varley deal look good on Lou or bad? Uh, I'm still going to say good because Robin Leonard can't get himself a contract extension. Anywhere. Think about it. He had a shot with Chicago. Chicago didn't give it to him. Now he's in Vegas. I don't know. What's going on that the Islanders and the Chicago Blackhawks couldn't give Robin Leonard a contract extension? Because it, it's not just Lou now. And it's not the Buffalo Sabres. The Buffalo Sabres didn't give Robin Leonard an extension. He didn't have bad numbers when he was... when. He was with Buffalo. Something to think about. Contract year. Who comes and goes on our team? Oh, God. Oh, Jimmy. You doing this to me on March 14th? Um, I, I'm not going to lie. Anyone with a no trade clause? They're, they're still going to be here. Matt Barzal, Ryan Pollock, Devin, uh, Devontae's. Noah Dobson, Oliver Wallstrom, Casey Zizekas, J.G. Peugeot. I think those are the only ones that you keep. Everyone else that I did not mention, could they be trade bait? Probably. You know, whoever fits this system stays. Whoever does not fit this system, uh, they, could, they could possibly be traded. So you guys are smart. Some of you are smarter than me. You guys know who fits the system. You guys know who doesn't fit the system. You know, figure that one out. And go from there. But again, don't figure it out now. It's March. And we're not going to be able to make any kind of trades until like a couple of days before the draft anyway. So don't go, don't go nuts. Don't go nuts on that. And we did. We saw round two in Barclays. We did. 2016. And that wasn't bad. Uh, Matt Martin could be back. Don't count him out. Possibly. Possibly. You know, I, I, I again, I, I, this is genuine, guys. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know who's coming back. I don't know what Lou has in mind. I mean, in all honesty, when Lou, you know, when we find out Lou's ready to grab Zach Parisi, okay, there's only one guy I'm ready to give credit to yet, but that hasn't happened yet, so I'm not going to give him credit. But he's the only one that saw that coming. I didn't see it coming. So, again, when it comes to this offseason, I don't know. I'm expecting more hockey trades. I'm not even going to lie to you. I am expecting more hockey trades. Than anything else. Team MVP this season. Oh, Cutler. Great question. Uh, are we talking basically Bob Nystrom Award here? <sighs> you know what? I, I may have to give it to Matt Barzal. Or Brock Nelson. Casey Zizekas. Yes. But Brock Nelson's been trying to, you know, steady the ship. Matt Barzal has risen to the occasion on the, you know, at times. Um, Adam Pellick just hasn't been here enough. But yes, he's very influential as well. But Adam Pellick does not get MVP for half a season. Doesn't work like that. Um, you know, Casey, again, he's influential. I don't know if I'd give the MVP to Casey, though. Uh, someone who's been here all year. Um, I would go Matt Barzal. And uh, Matt Barzal and, or, or, or um, Brock Nelson. How do I see the defense without him? Um, definitely struggling. But at the same time, Andy Green is not playing his 18, 19, 20 minutes to replace Adam Pellick. That's the other issue. So... Um, and I had said that before before on another show. Uh, play Noah Dobson, 18, 19, 20 minutes with Andy Green. 
I have absolutely no problem with that right now. No adoption is very good five on five. If you want to replace Pelic, play both those guys 18, 19, 20 minutes if you can, five on five. Uh, Jeff, I'm not going to give you the credit yet, only because that one particular person, he actually suggested that 18 months ago, I think. So, yeah, don't ask me any questions about the players right now. I have no clue. You know, the players, the players who fit the system, the players who fit the system, they're going to be here. The players who don't fit the system, they're not going to be here. Lou will probably take care of that. You guys are smart enough. Like I said, you guys figure it out. It's a long summer. Okay? It's a long summer. Take your time with it. So, you guys hash that out on your own. Um, that's it, guys. Season 2 is a wrap. Uh, thank you once again for coming. Been a blast. Uh, I've enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie, I am going to ponder Season 3. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what life uh, takes place here. And, uh, you know, let's go Islanders. Thank you once again. Um, don't forget to check Isles Talk on Twitter, Facebook. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Make sure you like us on Periscope. Make sure you like us on... Uh, like and subscribe on the uh, IELTS Talk YouTube channel. Uh, I will be doing some stuff over the summer. Um, basically a healthy healthy debate section on YouTube. Cheers to some of you. Good morning, sunshine. Oh, yes. Thank you, Cutler. Um, prayers to the Hickey family on the loss of his brother. Yes. Uh, very sad news there. Uh, Thomas, we're all with you. Um, you know, very sad news. Our heartfelt condolences to you and your family. And uh, at some point, we'd like to see you back. So. Taylor Hall, UFA target. Great question. Let's see what Lou does at the draft. Uh, I just don't think these just going to draft if the draft remains in june i'm still expecting lou to do some kind of uh hockey trade or trades so we'll go from there so alrighty, guys that's it um thank you once again uh it's been a great two years so far i'm at you know over 500 views each time uh i can't thank you enough uh it's a lot of motivation to keep going here. Uh, again, my thanks to Gary Harding for creating this mess. This is all his fault. Uh, hopefully we get to do it again next season. And with that, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Let's go, Islanders. Enjoy your summer. Find something to do. Take care.